Hey, happy Tuesday evening. It's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. This is a pre-recorded haul video. This is jewelry that I picked up um, today at the antique mall and I went to two thrift stores. If you see anything you want to purchase from me, email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. My email will be down underneath the description section. When you go under the video and click more, um, that is the description section. I'm seeing how my lighting looks. I think it should be okay. Um, but yeah, if you see anything you want, anybody is welcome to buy from me. If you're new, just subscribe to my channel and then email me. And uh, I'll be selling uh, anything for pre sale unless I say it's something I want or I'm going to keep or I have to test or something. Um, but anyways, let me get started. I'm pretty excited about some of the things I found. I'm going to start with these two necklaces this necklace is pretty amazing this is glass i don't i didn't test it but i think it's just glass like marble glass but we have the back um, i i didn't test the sterling i'm pretty certain this is sterling this is a beautiful vintage necklace do you see the markings on it i don't know what that says let me hold it still so somebody can look it's written in a different language like japanese i believe i don't have my magnifying glass in front of me but look how beautiful the details are that's glass. I didn't, uh, I'm pretty certain it's just glass. That's what it looks like, right? Not just, but it's beautiful. That's a glass piece in the center. Sorry, I was just off camera. It's beautiful and I'm pretty certain it's sterling. I have to test it, but that won't take long. It has a box clasp and it's short. I think it's probably like 16 inches on that. Let me make it um, smaller again, okay? I had it larger just so I could show it. We'll keep it on nine. I don't think it's too, but I think it's about 15, 16 inches. I'll measure it before I sell it. I'm not going to measure it now. It's strung on blue silk knotted. And again, you have that beautiful centerpiece there. It's probably about 15, 16 inches. And I'm pretty certain that piece is sterling silver. It's beautiful, written in Asian. I don't know what it says. Okay. I thought it was marvelous though. So I picked it up. It's, it's well strung and everything. It's beautiful. Wish I knew what that said. Okay, there's that. I believe this is a dyed agate. That's what I think. And I think the pieces on it are sterling, but I still have to test it. But it's, um, let's see, it looks veiny. I think it's dyed agate. I have to check it. It doesn't look, well, I don't think it's quartz. I do think it's agate. And it's dyed, I believe. But that's the clasp. I didn't test anything. I think these are sterling. I'm not sure. I'll test it. They were just hanging together, so I'm showing this as well. I hope my lighting's okay. This isn't deliberate. I'm working on it. It's not as easy as it seems. <laughs> you know, to get the lighting up and going when you're changing. I film from three different locations, depending on if I have the baby or not. So it becomes a little bit of a challenge. You know, I, I have to work around him. And I can't have him in my jewelry room. And sometimes we do it down in the living room. It all depends on what he's doing in the family room there. This is beautiful. This is absolutely marvelous. I can't read what it says, but it's a magnificent piece. Next, I'll show these things. Just going to go through it. Um, this is pretty marvelous. This is opalite glass. Opal glass. I don't know if it's actually opalite, but it is opal glass. See, it's like foggy. And this is very nice. This again, looks like Art Deco. I, I think it's Art Deco, like Revival or something for such a thing. I don't know, it's kind of short. I think this is more likely 1950s, okay? What I meant is the shapes on it kind of remind me of Art Deco. I believe this one is probably 50s. Don't see a marking on it. It has a um, rhodium plating on it. Needs wiped up. I'll wipe it up with the cloth. I don't see a signature on it. It is a box clasp and all of the rhinestones are there because I checked it to make sure. It's pretty beautiful. Let me hang it up. It's a shorty. This will, this is great right around collarbone length. Like Meg, That's what my length I like. And I think it's very beautiful. These are pronged on there. They are opal glass cabochons. And all the rhinestones appear to be here. And they're in pretty good shape. I believe this is 1950s on this mid-century. Somewhere around 50s. I have a crown trafari pin. With a copyright, I believe. I don't have my glasses on. Does it, it does have a copyright. This is 55 to 69 crown trafari sweater clip. I believe, you know, one or or a button-up shirt clip, really. Can use it as really well, I think. 
like one on each collar, but it's in good shape. It is a brushed textured silver tone and signed Crown Trafari in the back on the clip. See, it's a clip. And see, oh, well, you know what's really cool about this too? This chain actually will come off of this. I didn't even know this is till now, guys. This can be worn, this is like a convertible piece of jewelry. This can be worn as a sweater clip, or you can take these off. Look, these are like made on here like this, but these are actually, uh, that'll come off. This lovely chain that looks original to the piece because of the texturing and coloring of the metal looks exact. Plus, what are the chances that, you know, this is made to be a sweater clip or a pair of clip earrings. And these are crowned for Fari with the copyright. So it's 55 to 69 on a dating mid-century. Sweater clipper earrings, cool. I just noticed that. I'm gonna hang it back up on here. I hope I showed it enough. I will show it again. I'm not trying to cut it off or anything. Like I said, it's um, sometimes I, sometimes I am a little short on it. I'm working on it. Okay, so sweater clipper earrings. This is a unique piece. I've never seen one yet. This is the first convertible sweater clip to earrings I've ever seen myself. I've been doing it a few years and I keep bringing a lot of jewelry in my hands. This is signed Japan. This is beautiful. Um, the glass is beautiful, opalite like glass. Look, it's um, it's more, it's textured. I don't know exactly what to call it, guys. Satin glass, kind of. I don't know. These are cubes like triangle cubes, kind of diamond-like cubes. This is a beautiful mid-century Japan necklace. That's what's on the end. It's signed Japan on a J-hook. These are faux pearls. And then you go into the crackle glass, beautiful crackle glass, and these beautiful, um, look like opalite type of glass, purplish opalite on that. And good God, I hope the lighting's okay. Let me move back some. It's beautiful, beautiful jewelry. Found a lot of beautiful jewelry. I love costume jewelry. Costume jewelry can, Go for quite the penny, too, when you find the right one. I'll be showing the half school in a minute, and the signer super excited that I found both of those. Let me go on to this. It's a lot of jewelry today for me. I don't typically bring as much in in one setting, but this, I believe, is Bakelite. I have to test it. There's the findings. Um, I have to test it in some getting semi-chrome polish in the mail. At first glance, kind of looks like it could be an amber, but I don't think so, but I'll test it both ways. These, I think, are Bakelite. It could be the old amber, um, the amber from African amber, actually, which is Bakelite. There could be, there's another name for it too, but it smelled, it smells like formaldehyde and so forth. But anyways, I think those are Bakelite. I have to test them, okay? A better. I'm getting a semi chrome and I didn't boil water. I just wiped it with my hand. This is beautiful. This is signed Italy. This is a beautiful mosaic. It's on this cord. I believe this is original to it, the way they sold it. It's signed Italy. Yeah, it's like a satiny cord. That's nice. It's about an inch, an inch and a quarter, and it's all intact. Signed Italy, beautiful little piece. Um, this is brass, opalite glass, and it has the J-type hook. This is a, I think, a piece of, I don't know, bone china. I, I'm not really sure, guys, honestly of what type of glass it is, but that is opalite glass and this is brass findings. This is a nice little necklace, actually, I thought. There's this. I believe this one is Bakelite. Okay, here's the Haskell. Um, this Haskell's amazing. I can look at my book and I should be able to date this precisely. This is amazing. There's the findings. I can't believe I found this where I found it. They just had it labeled as black glass necklace, and I almost shit my pants. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I shouldn't say on my jewelry channel. Um, but I don't know the dating. I have to look. It is signed Miriam Haskell right on the back of the beautiful little clasp. It is her full name, Miriam Haskell. I don't see a copyright. That doesn't mean anything for dating, I don't think, by remembering reading in Miriam Haskell, though. The, look how adorned and beautiful the J-hook is. The J hook is adorned with a black glass as well. And then you have that end and this end that look the same. This is a beautiful double strand with beads not separating the big beautiful glass beads, faceted glass bead, Miriam Haskell necklace. Magnificent. This strand is smaller beads than that. The findings are amazing. I will look to see the date that way when I sell it. 
I can tell you how, how close of an estimate I have on the date. I do have the book and it's pretty detailed. It gives you some good information in there. But I do see that it's wrapped around. It looks like it has a capping on the back that is metal. I'm thinking 60s, but I have to check. Okay. Beautiful Miriam Haskell necklace. I, guys, this is my my find of the day. I have another magnificent find too. Two more of them that I think are magnificent. That was my best. This is um, made in Italy, Venice. This is um, Venetian. Um, it's like splatter glass to me, but it's art glass strung on silk. It has the speckled glittering going through it, and it's strung on blue silk with caps, brass caps on either both sides, and it is a big, nice, big, chunky barrel clasp. This is a nice necklace. has a tag on it still. I can't really say how old it is. I don't know that tag. Somebody might and be able to, there are people that, that do know that, I'm sure, out there who are into the Italian jewelry. I'm not that big into it, but I, I seriously, it's Haskell. The Haskell, uh, the Haskell's beautiful for me, from where I found it. Just amazing. Um, oh, I found Eisenberg 1970 on it. This, this is exciting to me too, guys. Anna's super excited today. On its original chain, look at that. Blackened uh, metal, uh, black enameled metal. This is a 1970s Eisenberg, signed Eisenberg with the copyright in the back. This is rare. I've only, when I looked online, I saw one elephant on Worth Point and I'd seen it maybe one or two owls, but this is 1970s um, enamel metal. Obviously it's metal enamel Eisenberg piece. And he's on like a trapeze. That reminds me of for like, uh, like he, he's on his little trapeze. This is the original chain and that's an exciting find. It's not just dependent. I have the chain with it as well. That's an Eisenberg and I've never seen one before. When I looked it up and saw what it was, I was happy. Whiting and Davis Company, High Relief um, Amber Glass. They are signed uh, Whiting and Davis Company on the back of the clip. The clips are good. Look, it's see that it's glass. It's I'm gonna call it Amber Glass because it's color of the amber, and they are very beautiful. Look how pretty they are. High Relief Cameos. Don't really know the month, the year on them. I really don't. Beautiful though. I think they are. Look at their faces. Let me. You guys see it? Let me enlarge it. How's that? Oh my god, my camera's moving. Sorry about that. Look how pretty. Sorry, my nails need done. They're beautiful. Those are Whiting and Davis Company clip uh, cameo earrings, and I'm calling them amber glass because that's what they look like. I like this. This is mine. This is the only thing I'm keeping for myself here. Look at that. Look. Sorry. Um, it's pretty nice. This is, I mean, it's not a real expensive piece. That looks like lucite on the back, though. And this is a stained glass elephant. And I've been looking for an elephant pin for myself. Um, so, why is this lighting look so shitty? I, I did work on it, for those of you who think I don't. I try, okay? I'm trying. <laughs> I really do try hard, okay? Even if it doesn't seem like it, there's just a lot going on. You know how it is. And, and I did set the lighting up, and now it looks screwed. It looked okay. You know why? It's getting dark out now here. So now the lighting as setup's changing. But there we go. Okay. That is a beautiful little stained glass elephant pin I'm keeping for myself. This is celluloid on top of glass, I believe. This is a nice big... I have to clean the vertigree off there. I need to get some vinegar. It's just a brooch, but it's big. This is like a 3-4 inch. That's glass, and I believe it's celluloid over the top. And she's pretty, I think. There we go. It's nice. It's a big one. These are the um, these are the signer. Now these do have a little bit of an issue, but these are the high I was pricing and looking, and I've seen them before actually. They're signed signer in the back, and they're in pretty good shape for the most part. But there are a couple of the black pieces missing here. Okay, unfortunately, we have a black like the black tops up here, here and here is missing, and then there's one over here on the side of this one. I will sell these cheaper. To somebody who's, you know, is a collector or whatever, whoever wants them. If you're a collector, I think you probably will want them even with that. I want rhinestone out there. These are pricey. I will sell them cheap, much cheaper than what they go for so you can fix them. But these are amazing. That moves. These are the, um, 
C-I-N-E-R, Signer. I believe these are 1980s, my guess on them, but they're pretty amazing. I was pricing them. Mine will not go as high as they are because obviously we have a couple of pieces missing, like I just paint pointed out. Over there's one black on the side. My lighting looks like crap again. I'm going to move this closer if you see the lag on it. Sorry, excuse me for that. It's just my lighting is really... It, it's starting to get dark out here in Pittsburgh, so now the lighting's even changing. So one's missing over there and one rhinestone on that. And then here you just have the two off the top of his head. So it's missing a couple of enamel pieces and one rhinestone. But they're signer and they're, they're look them up. Somebody, some people already know them. Okay, here are three pairs of earrings. Um, these are moonstone. These are moonstone. They're, these are actual stones. These are not the glass. You see you have the rainbow flash moonstone. Beautiful. These are, these are Ross Simon Sterling and Amethyst Citrine Blue Topaz and Peridot Little Butterfly Earrings. Pretty adorable. These are signed Pell, I believe. P-E-L-L. -L. They're vintage. Um, not quite sat stones. I'm going to call these are mid-50s or newer. Some 50s, 60s on these. But nice, I think. These are beautiful. These are signed 95. I didn't test them. These are Ross Simon. They're going to be sterling. And those are costume. And they're a clip that appear to have a rhodium plating on the back. There's three pairs of earrings. The moonstones are pretty beautiful. They are opened in the back, and I think they're just signed 925. I have to test them, but they definitely look real sterling, and they are an actual stone. You see the blue flash moonbow, rainbow moonstone. Oh, I have this flapper uranium. This is beautiful. Okay, I get excited. This is amazing. Okay, these are um, bicone shapes. And this is flapper length with, I have one issue with it, unfortunately. I could stick the stone in there, but I'm not going to. It's flapper length. I think somebody put this together. I, I don't really know the exact dating on it, but it does kind of look A-B to me. But it's missing one, okay? It's a box clasp. And you have these, this is flapper length, beautiful um, uranium bead necklace, glass necklace, like uranium glass. I think that's beautiful. It's um, I have it tripled up on here. It's really long. It's probably about 60 or 72 inches. Uranium glass necklace. That's nice. That's I thought it was. And then I have this beautiful. Um, this is a Japan. And this is multiple types of glass on this. This is lovely as well. There's more, guys. I, I have a lot today. Um, I, I did a lot of shopping. It was a good day for me. I'm glad I went out. Uh, this one's unsigned. I think I can't really see if it's Japan or not. It's a beautiful combination of glass and uh, just glass and metal. There is no plastic. This could be Germany. It has lovely rondelles on it. Let's see if they are uranium glass. Okay, okay. There's some green rhinestone rondelles in between. And then you have glass cap. I mean, metal claps and metal caps and beautiful. Uh, different varying. I have like two of the other necklaces have these same stones in them. But So I'm going to hang a sets of uranium. I think that's a Japan or a Germany under here. Unsigned. Okay. They kind of look the same. This is silk. Let me show these two. This is a Japan hair, but I'll show this one first. This is silk. Uh, it's costume findings. Silk strands. And then these pieces of what looks to be lucite are covered with silk. I thought that was an amazing, let me move some of my stuff. Let me move the Haskell back. I thought it was an amazing necklace. My lighting, come on. Give me a break. See the lucite shining there. Um, it's covered with silk thread, each bead, and knotted in between on orange silk. I thought it was interesting. I'm like, I liked it. Let me, my camera down. Try to fix my lighting. God have mercy on me. Okay, but anyways, I'm trying to get the lighting good. There, that's nice. I think that's nice. Um, that looks terrible, doesn't it? I'm banging it around. Okay, sorry about the banging around. Anyways, I'm done trying to fix it. Okay, there is, those are lucite looking under there and cover it with orange silk. And then I have this beautiful red and this has moon glow lucite. Um, this is not, I don't know signed one of them's not signed i can't remember which one i can't see guys i don't have my glasses on but this is beautiful that's glass art glass um 
And there is glass, uh, like these bicone or triangles look like diamonds, actually. There's some moon glue loose sight on the necklace as well. My lighting's look <coughs> really dark suddenly. Um, okay, that's nice, though, I think, don't you think? All right, it kind of improved itself a little bit. I think it's nice. I don't know if it is uh, loose sight. I mean, I don't know if it's Japan or not. Definitely some loot side on it. These look like Ian Klein. Um, they need cleaned up a little bit. There may be an imperfection on it. I need to clean them up. But they're nice. They are like the old gold look like the Ian Klein gold clips. They're not unsigned as far as I can see. I'll look a little bit better. But like a half of a ball and then a ball. On those. I thought this was really well. I like this. I don't know who the maker is. At least I didn't see it on there yet. But look, it's pretty big. It's probably like a three inch, two and a half to three inch. Pin, and I like the shape of it. Love the little Eisenhower. Beautiful little giraffe. For collectors, that, that's going to be desirable too. I anticipate somebody will probably want the Eisenberg. It's 1970s enamel. This is, I don't know who, looks like a Monet. This is a beautiful Sarah Coventry. Okay, I um, I had to get it. It's signed Sarah Cov. It's vintage Sarah Coventry. And that is an amber glass um, rhinestone in there, piece of amber glass and green enamel on the outside. Just a nice big flower, like three inches. Pretty amazing one, I think. I figured these could be worn as scatter. They're about the same dating, I believe, by the back look of them. They are blue rhinestones. One's a flower. These ones, I think, can move around on there a little bit. Look, they're like screwed on here. They look like they are. I forget exactly what that's called, but there is something to it. Um, and then there's this. So two blue, um, baby blue rhinestone pins. That can be worn as scatter pins. Um, I thought they'd be good together. I don't know what this is. I think this is copper enamel. There is a signature on this with a year of 1989. I don't know what that says, but look how cute. He's metal and enamel pig. It's like Wilbur, kind of. I couldn't pass him up. I thought he was adorable, so I bought him. These are sterling silver hoops. They're nice. They're nice, beautiful. They're signed 95. The color is very nice. They're about a half of an inch, and they lock. They're sterling silver. I thought they were nice as well. My phone's going to die, so I'm going to move it along. A diaper clip, I think. <laughs> I don't know what it is. A big paper clip, I don't pass them up when I see them. People like them, and um, they can be utilized, like, to fasten your scarf, or if you're, like, some women thin, lucky enough to wear a, uh, one of those uh, dresses that are, um, I just had a morning, and I'm running out, I'm on 10%. Yeah, like a, a sash, a skirt that wraps or something, or dresses can be used to fasten, or maybe a kilt, I don't know. Okay, so then I have probably the biggest AB, 1960 AB glass earrings are bicone-shaped. Those are probably the biggest clips I've ever seen in these beautiful Japan faux pearls. Those are two pair of clip earrings. They're vintage. Nice. That's it. Uh, that is all I found. Besides, one more thing. Let me show these to you guys. I found, well, I found myself a beautiful rayon and silk skirt, um, scarf. It's New York and Company City Silk. Beautiful. It is silk and rayon. I found that. A scarf it's a nice size like I'm, I feel like I'm really enlarged here should I go down just to show you my scarf don't mind the background beautiful scarf I'm gonna wear that in the winter it's perfect um, for the leather coat I found these these are handmade I bought one for me and one for crystal let me make it even smaller if I can I think it's the smallest I can go this is a Santa Claus these are made out of the bleach cartons this one's made out of a massive one. Look how cute he is. Somebody handmade him. And uh, little eyes, little bell. Look, up here some holly and uh, pine cone, cherries or cranberries. Adorable. Felt Santas. I got one, and I'm giving Crystal one. I'm going to let Eva decide which one she wants for our house. We're going to put them on the front door. They're just adorable. Look how cute. They're both adorable. I got them. That was something I really didn't, didn't anticipate getting, but... I got that, and then I got myself these beautiful glasses. Look, I think, I don't think they're uranium, but look how they glow. We're going to use them as Sunday cups for me and Eva when we make our Sundays. 
That's what I'm using them for. They have, um, they're raised on the bottom like these are handmade. Pretty nice, actually. So there's those. So that's what I found. Um, and I also found myself a couple pairs of leggings for when I go walking at the gym or outside. All right, thank you for watching my video. Let me know if you want anything. I will have another haul video on Friday, and I will be up live on Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time with my sale. I hope to see you then. Sorry about the lights in the background and everything. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye.